Good morning, my name is John Kniff. I'm a battalion chief with the Cobb County Fire Department, which is in the metro Atlanta area. And today we're doing our final inspection on our 2016 Aero XT tractor drawn aerial. Kind of starting off with some of the unique things that we went with. Uh, we did the scuff guard that wrapped around the door jam, kind of protects the paint and the finish of, uh, of the chassis itself. It's on all four corners. Going back over here again, the scuff guard as well. We uh, decided to go with the Chicago rail here for aid closing and opening the doors. Uh, we have three seats across the back, all facing forward. And we opted to go with a uh, interior compartment as well for interior storage. Some of the unique features that we decided to go with on this truck is the TriMax system. This is kind of the gap that's filled between a true quint and a dry truck. It's uh, 70 gallons of uh, water and class A foam that we'll use for uh, car fires, maybe uh, incipient stage fires. Uh, we'll have a line that comes off this side or that can deploy off the other side like a traditional cross lake configuration. The initial planning and setup of the apparatus was for this to be the rescue side, in other words, our vehicle extrication side and our hand tool side. In this particular compartment, we went with the, the drawer system and the shelving system. We went, uh, specified an outlet in here for charging our power tools. Going to the rear here where our, the ground ladder complement is, we have a little over 200 feet total of uh, ground ladders and including a three section 45. We have some uh, congested tight areas uh, with limited access. We decided to specify the 45 on this particular aerial. Uh, this is actually going to be our first tractor drawn aerial for the Cobb County Fire Department. Uh, we did a lot of research. We reached out to local departments like DeKalb County Fire Department. We used another de fire department in Florida called Winter Park Fire Department. They were very instrumental and very helpful in our specification and design of this, of this apparatus. Uh, the aerial again is 100 foot. We chose to go with the steps toward the rear for a nice climbing angle into the tiller cage with the slide and back doors, a nice clear view. Uh, we went with a, a body that's actually raised uh, six inches above the norm, uh, but we still kept our sight lines clean for the tillerman. So he's got great view of both the driver and the officer side of the apparatus. The compartment that's on the tractor is kind of unique. We went with the 50-50 split. It comes out this side. There's another drawer that comes out on the other side. The other side is designed for the tractor operator and the driver. He'll be able to store his gear and his BA and all of his hand tools. Uh, we tried to use the most we could, utilize as much of the space that we could, and uh, with the use of the rollout drawers and some of the pull-down drawers as well, I think we've been able to pull that off. Okay, on this side of the uh, crew cab, we decided to go with a uh, kind of a 45 bread box style for extra storage. There'll be some netting for that system right there. Uh, up ahead, we used the most of the space that we could with some overhead compartments. Pre-fire plans, uh, map books, whatever we need there. We had made full use of that space up here. Uh, we put the, the plating on top of the doghouse for uh, future mounting of... Uh, thermal imaging camera, items like that, flashlights. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we're very proud of our project here, and I hope you enjoy the view. And uh, feel free to log on to cobfire.org to get more information.